Well, I didn't think anything could get harder than vet school, but then I had to do vet school and cancer. I was diagnosed with stage 1 breast cancer in December of last year. In December 2016, I was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma stage 2A. Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. I had 8 rounds of ABVD chemotherapy and then that was followed by 17 rounds of radiation. I started actually a uh, year-long treatment and it started in January for five months of chemotherapy which was a um, very brutal protocol and then uh, that was followed up by six weeks of radiation therapy. I was rarely able to attend class because I was either sick or really neutropenic. All my classmates were really helpful getting me notes and pictures uh, from labs and stuff to keep me caught up. Really the friendships that I've made in vet school have really gotten me through it. You can't do it alone. It takes an incredible strength. It's because of the other radiologists. We completely altered the clinical schedule so I could come in and perform clinical duty. I got to work with the animals, and which was a big part of uh, me finding strength to, to carry on, if you will. And But coming to work was the best part because you could see everyone, talk to everyone, and you know be upbeat for a while until you knew the next round was coming. So that was really important to be here. Considering I was diagnosed right at the end of my first semester, it would have been really easy to just take a year off, and I was certainly given that option, but I don't think I ever actually seriously considered it. The only thing worse than lying on my couch all day and having to study while that sick is lying on my couch all day with nothing else to think about. One thing that is so important about breast cancer is that I saved my own life by self-examination. Do it. My specific cancer, Hodgkin's lymphoma, is considered very curable compared to other cancers, and that's due to research that has been done. That in fact, everyone is somehow knows somebody or is personally affected by cancer. The research is part of the awareness that I would like people to, in the public, to understand. The treatments we do in people and animals are so important because you never know what the next big thing's going to be that's going to help save an animal's life or a human's life. And that's why uh, it's so important to put uh, funding into good programs like at Mary Bird and like here at the Cancer Treatment Unit at our school.